All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing you to the two fighters. We fight here six by three minute rounds. We do it at the light weight limit. Introducing to you first, standing across in the blue corner. He weighed in officially 60.6 kilos. He wears the gold and the black trunks, travels to us tonight from Adelaide in South Australia. His fight record, four fights, three wins, one win coming by way of knockout. Just the one loss. Give it up. This is Benny Trouble Campbell. And his opponent standing across in the red corner. He wears the white trunks with the red trim. He weighed in officially 60.2 kilos. Travels to us tonight from Townsville in North Queensland. His professional fight record, a perfect one. Six fights, six wins, three big wins coming by way of knockout. One of the real rising stars of boxing here in Queensland. This is Jalen the Wolf. Well, heading into our third pro fight for the night, it was a six by three minute contest between Jalen Tate and Ben Campbell. Another interesting fight over the six by three minute distance. In this particular fight, we're joined by Queen Jazzy Parr. So you'll hear her comments throughout the course of this fight and maybe some more after this one. So it'll be interesting to hear what she has to pick up on this particular fight, but a really good contest and a step up for Jalen Tate in this contest. As you can see, Jalen Tate is the man in the white and red trunks. Ben Campbell in the gold and white. Jalen Tate, he is the southpaw fighter of the two. The mouth guards just come out there, so they'll stop action for a bit. We'll get back in into the mouth of Jalen Tate and he'll be kicked off again. A six round of this contest, six by three minute rounds. North Queensland prodigy who has improved with every fight is Jalen Tate. Last time out, he scored a very impressive KO victory over Muay Thai legend Joey Balon. But tonight, no doubt, is his biggest pro boxing test so far. So it'll be interesting to see how he starts off here, Jazzy. Yeah, both boys look super keen, super ready. He's got that very flamboyant style, does Jalen Tate. He's got a great eye. He's, uh, he knows how to slip punch as well and usually comes back with his own counter shots. Nice and quick. Both boys are nice and quick. Like I said, definitely his uh, biggest step up so far, so far for Jalen Tate. Ben's only loss has come to the very credible Hunter Aon. In that fight, he was stopped, however, so it's always inter interesting to see how a fighter comes back after a yep. stoppage. Uh, Jazzy? Sometimes you want it more, though, after the stoppage, so we'll see if he's hungry to get the win again. That's true, yeah. You either, you know, propel forward or, or you, 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 your career usually comes to a halt after yeah. a, a stoppage loss. As you can see, both boys very measured in, these opening, in this opening round, trying to control the fight with their jab initially. Southpaw versus orthodox. Sometimes it can get a bit messy bit tricky to get in there. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, obviously the, the, the feet usually tie up. You've got opposite feet coming left-hander versus right-hander. So just that, uh, that front foot and the positioning of that front foot is ever so important. Whoever can stay on the outside usually has the initiative. Very good eye. And look how flamboyant he is. Jalen Tate, a good yeah, jab there. Nice. Yeah, jabs well to the body as well. Ben Campbell just trying to nice. creep up closer. He's trying to, he needs to edge closer with his feet though. He left his feet behind there in that last combination as he comes forward with three or four punches, but Jalen Tate evades very well. And nice and light on his feet, good movement. Yeah, very good. He's got those whipping shots as well. Just missing the mark there, but Looking very Ooh. confident. Yeah, catching him on the way in there. Jalen Tate. Nice. Good, good first round. Yeah, good very, pace. Very good opening rounds. 
as we can see, some of the replays from that opening round, and it was definitely a Jalen Tate round, you'd think. Yeah, definitely. A great job setting up everything in that. She's got that bit of a longer reach as well, so as soon as she throws that jab and get out of there, it's uh, Campbell's not landing. Yeah, round two of six. We'll see if the punch volume steps up now in the second round. Now the boy, both boys have felt each other out for a round. As Ben Campbell tries to close that distance. But Jalen Tate, such a master of deception. He, as soon as you think you're close enough to hit him, he hits you and change, changes angles. And yeah, he, nice he's and long. gone. Yeah, it's good. And Jazzy, if, if, if you're Ben Campbell's trainer, what do you think he said to him in the second round after seeing what Jalen threw at him the first round? I reckon just keeping that pressure on would probably help a bit more. And as soon as he throws that punch, just straight back in cause, and using that footwork to get a bit closer as he's getting out straight away. Yeah, I think you're right there because when Jalen is susceptible is getting, to getting hit it, it's, uh, straight after yeah. he finishes throwing punches, he's, uh, he's got his hands down ne next to his yeah. hips, as you can see. And you can see after he finishes throwing his combination, sometimes he doesn't yeah. bring his hands back up. So that's when he's most uh, susceptible to getting hit himself. So you might be right there. Yeah, just maybe throwing just a couple punches extra and we'll definitely get that landing. And we can just see yeah. there, right there, he, there just, uh, he just evaded the shots and came straight back on Ben Campbell and had success. Wee, swing and a miss. Swing, yeah, <laughs> three and four swings. All missing so far. Jalen Tate trying to measure his opponent there. Leading with that jab. I'd like to see him just lead to the body, just that straight to the body, just try and slow up his opponent because the, the body doesn't move. As we know, the head's sometimes a harder target because it's a moving target. Yeah. The body sort of stays there. So tap or hit to the body first, then finish to the head potentially. Yeah, just changing those levels, up, down, up, down. Nice. Good, yeah, really good job. There, there. we go. Yeah, much, one, much better. Much better. Oy. And a big left hand there from Jalen Tate scoring. Oh, and the nice. uppercut. Really good period here for Jalen Tate. The wolf, they call him. Oh, and a cracking uppercut there. Lead uppercut. Very unorthodox for a southpaw fighter to throw a lead uppercut, but it was effective that time for Jalen Tate as he gets back onto the jab, using every bit of this ring with his feet. Really polished display so far for Jalen Tate. Only having his seventh professional fight, but he looks like a veteran in there so far. Ben Campbell very willing, but just... He's got such an elusive target in front of him tonight. Good two rounds. Yeah, solid two rounds, both boys. Six-round contest, like we said. You can see some of the replays, Jazzy. What, do you, what can you see here? Nice head movement from uh, Tate. Really lucid, like you said before. Super loud on his feet. I like his style. I like his style yeah. a lot. He was a very, very, very good amateur. He, uh, he's, uh, yeah, very decorated. And you can see that style has been transferred into the pro ranks because yeah. he's very light in his feet, still very elusive. Both boys look fit. Yeah, really fit. Just a four fight so far for Ben Campbell. He's had the three wins and the one loss. So going for his fourth win here tonight but it's going to be difficult against a very very classy Jalen Tate yeah going to keep that pressure on following it up one or two one or two good head movement yeah, moving target always for Ben Campbell very hard to hit yeah and that's what we said Sometimes you just got to aim for the chest. That's, that's not going to move. The head is a much more elusive target than, than the chest or the body. So you hit to the body first and slow up your opponent. Then that second shot to the head potentially can work. 
He landed to the body there. It was good. Just got to follow it up. Oh, nice. really good two punch that combination. Beautiful. Right up a cut. Big left hand for Jell and Tate, both scoring. Really good third round so far for Jell and Tate, the Wolf. Oh, Oi. big left hand scoring once again for Tate. He's looking very comfortable in there. Happy fight is a dangerous fighter, and he's, you can see he's just having fun in there at the moment. He's yeah. having it all his own way. He's fighting the, the fight at his pace. Once you feel those couple punches land as well, your confidence grows. Once you got the confidence, it's yeah, game on. Yeah, yeah. Hearing the voice of Queen Jazzy Parr here, so she knows a thing or two about fighting. Mum and Dad, both <laughs> unbelievable fighters in their own regard. I like this footwork. Yeah, using the whole ring, doing a good job. Very elusive is Jalen Tate. Very fancy, but he's following it up. He's landing. It's working. We Swing and a miss there for Ben Campbell. Oh, and a cracking left hand there from Tate landing. Both boys just getting worn there for use of the shoulder. Does Jalen Tate. <laughs> nice to switch up there. Yeah, he's got the Ali shuffle happening. It's reminding me a bit of Ali. Ben, nice and light. Ben Campbell is willing, but just just so so elusive is Jalen Tate. He just can't catch up with him. He's too quick. Unbelievable head movement and body evasion from Jalen Tate. He's having a picnic out there. As we can see, some replays from that previous round, and that was the punch of the round for sure. That right uppercut left hand, both hitting the mark and both rocking the head back of Ben Campbell. That left hand's knocked his head back, I think, twice that round. Tate, really good. Big clubbing left hand. We head into round four of six. Once again, Jalen Tate, very measured, very poised, doing everything right so far. Scoring at will. Playing the counter roll, but doing it effectively. Yeah, Campbell's definitely got to pick it up these next couple rounds. Only got four to go, or three to go. Yeah, he's got to start making a messy here. Oh. He gets caught once again from Jalen Tate. He's got, to, he's got to make this rough and tough. Yeah. He's got to get closer to his opponent. He's not going to outscore him from that, that range there. And that all starts with the feet, as you would know, Jazzy. You have to get close enough, and yeah. you have to creep forward with your, with your feet, break down that distance, and this is where he needs to work now. Yeah, it's a game of inches. Very frustrating fight at a fight is Jalen Tate because you think you got him, then he's moved and he's hitting you from another angle. As you can see, three and four punches all landing there from Jalen Tate. Really classy. Wait. <laughs> a little bit unorthodox. And a cracking jab. Very Rocking. entertaining from both boys, though. Very entertaining. Yeah, both Ben Campbell willing, but just... Just hitting shy of the mark sometimes. A jab's a winner for Jalen Tate. Ben at the moment's throwing probably one punch at a time, and it's not enough. No. In order to break that distance, you have to throw punches yeah. and bunches, as you know, Jazzy. Definitely. Three or four or more. And one, when you throw a single punch, as you would know as, as well, it's easy to counter yeah. a single punch. But when you're getting three and four punches thrown at you at once, all yeah. of a sudden you're going backwards, and it's hard to evade. Good left-hand lead there from Jalen Tate. I think if he just keeps that pressure up just a little bit more, he can 
land a few extra, but staying with the singles isn't going to pick up anything. Yeah, and he's got to, yeah, he's, that back foot's got to start coming a little bit forward and make it a lot harder for Jalen Tate to move left or right because right now he's using the whole ring and he's having a field day. Yeah, Tate looks really comfortable now. Nice and warm. Looks like he's taking a round off, just playing around a bit, light on the feet. Yeah, 10 seconds to go in this fourth round and a very comfortable Jalen Tate round again, you would think. Nice. The bell sounds for round number four. Going into round five now, as we can see some of the replays from round four. It was a good left-hand scoring there from Jalen Tate. Another three-punch combination. Both boys come together. And yeah, walking forward now. And that's what he's going to do. He's going to break yeah. that distance, but he's not going to do it when he's not throwing punches. Yeah. He's coming forward. He's Still doing the right throw. thing, but he's got to yeah. throw. You can walk forward all day and still get hit. Jalen, he's just having fun nice. out there right now. You can see everything. You can Very good movement, left and right. And he's able to escape wherever he wants to, whether he wants to go left, right, because that stance of Ben Campbell just isn't domineering enough to be able to yeah. cramp the style of Jalen Tate. And that's because he's he's too front on. He's not he's not front on enough, I should say. Yeah. He should square up and make it a lot harder for Jalen Tate. As Ooh, you can see, three, four, five, six punches there from Jalen Tate. This kid is a freak. It's flowing like water. Yeah, very good is Jalen Tate. And look at nice. it, just seeing it everywhere. It's like he's ahead of time here. And back on the jab, back to centre ring, exactly where he wants to be because that's where he's comfortable. Yeah, he's having fun now. Campbell's really got to pick up that pressure. Yeah, and he's not going to do that with no punches. As you can see, he's just still happy to look. Tate having a field day. Mixing it up to the nice. body and the head now, but both scoring for Jalen Tate. Campbell scoring with a couple there of shots, but there's the receipt for Jalen Tate. He gives double back. Nice. Oh, good Campbell. shots from Tate. Nice. Campbell's giving it a red hot crack. Just going to keep going. Nice. Tate straight back with yeah, the cross. Another really good shot there from Jalen Tate, that power hand scoring. Just on 40 seconds to go on this fifth round. Yeah, these last couple rounds really count. He's got to really pick it up now. Yeah, time's running out for Ben Campbell. You'd think he would have to score a knockout to get this decision because Definitely. I don't think Jalen Tate's dropped around. Allen just trying to find that opening. Just missing with that big, wild left uppercut. Ben Campbell. Nice. Just too hesitant at this stage. That's better. Aim for the chest. Scored to the chest, did Campbell. but Straight did, back. Didn't, Straight back. Yeah, didn't follow it up with the second attack. As round five comes to a close. We're going in the distance. Sixth and final round coming up. You can see some replays, Jazzy. What do you see? Yeah, just Tate's flowing like water. Everything's just coming straight back with the counter. As soon as Campbell first won, he's straight back with doubles, triples. It's becoming target practice yeah. for Jalen Tate because everything he's throwing, he's landing. Campbell nearly came back here, actually, and then didn't follow it up. It's hard when someone's moving so quick as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. You can see how confident he is. It's probably yeah. a bit degrading for Campbell. So three minutes to stake his claim, does Ben Campbell. Oh. Jalen Tate comes out with a power hand. Really entertaining to watch. Nice. 
Jazzy Parr, just talking about your career. It's obviously an exciting time for women's boxing, especially women's boxing in Australia. Ebony Bridges just been crowned world yeah. champion recently. Obviously, Sky Nicholson and the like all doing really good stuff. Beck Hawker, locally, probably the best upcoming talent we've got in Australia. So you, you're throwing yourself into the mix for such a, a positive time in, in, in boxing for ladies, especially in Australia. Yeah, I feel super grateful, actually, to just find it into this time. I, I truly believe everything happens for a reason, and I feel like I've definitely been going with the flow of my career, and now it's picking up. It's exciting, yeah. exciting times. Definitely perfect timing for women's boxing. I was uh, calling your last fight, and that was an uh, unbelievable performance by yourself. So Thank you. So you've got definitely a big future ahead of you, no doubt. And like I said, you've got all the pedigree underneath you with uh, <laughs> a fighting mum and dad, legend of a father, John Wayne Park. Yeah, it is. It's super exciting, especially um, just heaps of promotions coming up and big, big things coming for the women's sport. So... It's really inspiring to see actually a lot of the girls travelling overseas and doing so well and being successful and getting the recognition that um, a lot of women deserve. Exactly. I think uh, across the board, women's sport is picking up uh, and, yeah. and all sports. And uh, boxing was had to follow before long and it definitely has done that. Yeah, and rightly so. Super exciting. Super excited to get in the ring when I watch the fights. It yeah. gives you itchy knuckles. Itchy knuckles, yeah. As we can see... Jalen Tate definitely doesn't have itchy knuckles because he's landed yeah. about 1,500 shots on Ben Campbell's head and he's put on a master class here tonight. He's just fighting at his own pace. Yeah, he definitely looks like he's controlled the whole fight. I don't think that was one moment where he looked phased or anything's rocked him or anything. And Yeah, there's confidence. The confidence grow from the first round of the six. It's, it's really cool to see. Yeah, I think uh, Ben Campbell, if he had to have success tonight, he had to do it with multiple attacks. And yeah. he's, he's just, like I said, throwing singles, and that's not going to phase somebody like Jalen Tage. It's actually going to be a very easy counter for him. And he showed that tonight. Sometimes you need the fights where you can just sit back and have a watch, and he'll learn from this, I definitely think, to just keep that pressure and keep walking forward. Yeah, and his fifth professional fight tonight. You think he'll get his second loss? Yeah. But plenty to take from it, like you said, Jazzy. Nice. Beautiful finish. A really classy performance there from Jalen Tate. Yeah, definitely looks very professional. It's it really take, good to see. It will take the bickies, no doubt, tonight. But uh, like you said, Ben Campbell not a loser because he's taken plenty from this fight. Yeah, you either win or you learn. Exactly. As we can see, some of these highlights from the sixth and final round. And once again... It was a Jalen Tate round. Look at that elusive work from Jalen Tate and then comes back with his own kit of punches. He is the real deal, this kid. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the Eastern Team. Put hands together for both of our fighters. Again, great fight for the community. We go to the judges' scorecards. Judges in Marshall scores about 62 for one. Judge for Williams judges the contest 62 for one. Judge Ty judges the contest 59 to 55, all to your winner by unanimous decision. And that goes to the red corner, Taylor Dawood Taylor. And as expected, a unanimous points victory to that man, the Wolf, Jalen Tate. Yeah, Jalen Tate looks like he's just been going through the motions for the last two rounds. He's been working hard, 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 he's been working h